The U.S. Columbia was the first space shuttle and was launched on April 12, 1981. There have been several shuttles built since the Columbia, and all are named after famous sea vessels. To shuttle means to move back and forth, and that was what the space shuttle does. It is a reusable combination rocket ship and glider plane which can take off from Earth like a rocket and, and glide back to Earth like a plane. Space travel is no longer limited to train astronauts. Space shuttle passengers now include scientists, doctors, and other people needed to conduct experiments in space. Space shuttle's main engines are the best performing chemical rockets on Earth. They can lift 375,000 pounds and outrun a speeding bullet. They consume fuel that's colder than the interstellar space, yet their exhaust is as hot as a small star. Three of them working together unleash as much power as 23 Hoover dams, about 11 million horsepower. The National Space Agency says the shuttle engines are the best performing most fuel-efficient engines on Earth. The space shuttle takes off from a launch pad vertically, sitting on its tail just like a rocket. Attached to the space shuttle are two booster, booster rockets and a large fuel tank. These help propel the space shuttle into space. When the space shuttle takes off, the white smoke you see is steam. There are two water tanks on the launch pad that pour thousands of gallons of water. This water is released when the engines are engaged, so that the rock, the exhaust doesn't melt the metal launch pad. Deflectors are also used underneath the shuttle to deflect the exhaust, exhaust away from the pad. Within minutes of the launch, the booster rockets run out of fuel and are ejected. Parachutes open from the booster rockets and slowly lower them into the ocean where they are picked up by a waiting ship. At about 75 miles above the Earth, the external fuel tank is now empty and separates from the shuttle. It falls back to Earth and lands in the Indian, India Ocean. Smaller rockets are now ignited in the shuttle and are used to steer the shuttle in space. The shuttles work as laboratories, moving vans, repair trucks, and supply vehicles in space. Each shuttle has a large cargo bay, which is used to carry pay payloads, such as satellites into space, and to bring them back down to Earth for repair. The cargo bay is also used by astronauts to conduct experiments, fix orbiting objects, such as the Hubble telescope, and bring supplies and materials to the space station. The space shuttle also has a remote manipulator arm. This arm is used to lift payloads, such as satellites, out of the cargo bay for launching into space. It is also used to retrieve broken satellites from, from space and put them back into the cargo bay to return to Earth. The shuttle astronauts perform experiments in the shuttle. The experience of weightlessness is something they some sometimes have fun. Since there is zero gravity and air in space, when they go outside the shuttle they must wear spacesuits. The spacesuit is a fully self-contained life support system. The shuttle astronauts can move around in space using a manned maneuvering unit. This uses gas power jets to help the astronauts move in different lo directions. The manned maneuvering unit is also is useful when they are recovering or repairing broken sets. The space shuttle became the first vehicle to not only take off for space, but also to return from space. Previous rockets could only be used once. 
After orbiting at a, of a speed at 17,300 miles an hour, it's time to return to Earth. The crew turns the shuttle tail forwards and fires the engine to slow it down. It begins to fall out of orbit and as it does, the crew turns it to face forward again. At 75 miles above the Earth, it begins to re-enter the atmosphere, glowing with the heat of friction. As the atmosphere becomes heavier, the pilot flies the shuttle into a gen and gentle curve to slow it down and bring it to the correct speed. At the right moment, the co-pilot lowers the landing gear. On landing approach, the shuttle is flying at 214 miles an hour, faster than any jet plane. The shuttle touches down in California desert and keeps rolling until it finally comes to a stop.